You're looking at a live U.S. Capitol pick as the U.S. government teeters on the brink of a shutdown this week. Congress remains at an impasse on a funding deal with just six days to go. As Rob Kirkpatrick explains, federal departments and agencies have begun the mandatory process of bringing non-essential functions to a halt. The clock is ticking on Congress to pass a deal that will fund the government. But with less than a week to go, there's still no deal in sight to avert a shutdown. During a call with the Republican conference Saturday afternoon, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy pushed members to rally behind a short-term spending bill. I think we've made some progress to those who have been holding up, passing the rule to get onto these bills. President Joe Biden weighed in on the quickly approaching shutdown deadline over the weekend, calling on House Republicans to, quote, start doing the job. Funding the government is one of the most basic responsibilities of Congress. And it's time for the Republicans to start doing the job America elected them to do. Should Congress fail to pass a short-term spending bill to keep the proverbial lights on, a shutdown could have enormous impacts on all Americans, which both sides agree would be harmful. We're going to make sure that we can get a vote done, and uh, that means getting this the support of both sides uh, to the table. We're going to do whatever we need to do to do our job to keep the government open because our district uh, and Josh's as well, we, our district wants us to keep America running. But that path has proved difficult. A number of GOP hardliners are opposed to any short-term spending solution. Their Republican colleagues drawing a line, calling out those responsible for the failed negotiations. The arsonists have lit their house on fire. They're whining about their house burning. They're going to want credit for putting the fire out, and then they're going to set up a GoFundMe to get paid for what happened. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick reporting.